Most people in America are looking for how do I make a life worth living in retirement with having. When I do these audio casts, I'm usually talking about a variety of topics that are interesting to the people that are reviewing me for my work. I give them the titles and then they pick and choose what other things they want to look at because it gives them a variety of content production. At the same time, it shows how simple things can be done or how complex it can be done based on what they look at back in the history of time. But there has been someone constantly hacking my videos and clipping my videos and editing my videos without my consent. Sometimes my producers tell me to drag things out, make things continue to go because of the timing that's required to keep people engaged. The liars of America don't do that very well. I'll be honest, I sometimes get frustrated with that because something that's really well written and concise then gets almost ruined by ad-libbing. The life of American photographer is different today. We don't have the same tools available to us in some cases and in other cases we do. The liars of America can use their cell phone to make photographs and make video and do things really simply, but our problem with Apple is that everything is done vertically and people don't like to see that on YouTube. The liars of America often cause people problems. I've been looking in my food bag and finding that almost all of my Pop-Tarts are practically gone. I bought five or six boxes of Pop-Tarts with four Pop-Tarts each inside those boxes. So that would have been about 20 Pop-Tarts. I gave away only about two or three. Now I'm looking in my bag of Pop-Tarts and what I'm finding is I only have five Pop-Tarts left. I'd like to know what person is thinking they have the right to take a hold of my property and steal it at night. The other day I lost three cans of chicken in some way. I'm not sure how that happened because they were in my bag in which keeps food. I have eaten one of my cans of rotini, which is sort of a chef priority thing, which I like to eat and I don't mind cold, but the reality is most of that stuff is already pre-cooked, so it's reasonably safe. It's not always easy to deal with tomato sauces without having it, in other words, chilled or cooked, but it does allow for a marvelous amount of um, energy for the day. And I apologize, carbohydrates is what I'm looking for in the word. But since I've been beaten down by a black child on campus, which is why I left, I openly don't have the same recall memory as sort of truthful. Someone stole my $100 or more worth of a Pro Tandem product, which is an all natural, uh, not ointment, but all natural pill, if you will, horse size pill, that helps with keeping swelling down. So therefore, my brain doesn't have the same healing it could have had based on that product that I've taken for maybe five, six, seven, eight years. The liar also destroyed the Pro Tandem one that I had for someone. I did give a bottle away because I had the right to do that as a thank you for something that someone did to overcompensate based on its value for the smaller item that I was gifted. I have the right to do that because it was fully paid for. I also encourage that person where to go in order to get more so they could keep themselves in a healthy balance with their level of anxiety and depression. We can't say under the FDA what that thing can do for us, but we can do things in marketing to refer things to us. Now I'm just giving an example of some of the content that I've talked about over the course of time. There are plenty of my videos that are locked down online because we have the right to do that. Some clients don't want their things outside, but there's someone who seems to be playing in my videos and deleting slides off my videos and openly clipping my videos without my consent, ruining them, changing their name so that it doesn't even match what I've been doing. The liars in America like to play and they're usually foreign students coming in foreign from foreign lands who think they're oblivious to the law here. I don't like it when female Indian students try to come up and give me coats for women. I apologize, but is there anything about my presentation at this time that makes me look like I need one of them? It might be cold outside, but if you want unisex clothing to give to people, by all means do that. But don't fuck people over trying to put them into dress and, and attire that you think is funny or you think is your way to have money. I can't say any more about this, but what I can tell you is these stuffy videos just really piss me off.